incredible, you know. Um, it's a dream coming into college to be able to do something like this and uh, to finally get out there and even just to compete for it and, you know, have a chance to win it was an incredible feeling and to actually do it is just unreal. Take us through the race a little bit. Obviously, uh, tactical at first, you guys were the 430 pace and then you, you and uh, Jonah broke it over, you know, was it just the moment of time to know? Yeah, I think... I, want, I mean, I knew it was going to be normally pretty slow in these championship races, so I got out there and I just wanted to be in control even if the pace was slow just to not get, you know, boxed in or tripped up uh, in, the, in the clutter in the back. So that was kind of the plan to be up front, and I figured somebody would try to come around with about 600 to go, and that's exactly what Joey did. So I just stuck with him, and it was a race from then on out. When he made that move, did you think about letting him pass you and kind of hanging on? You Instead, you kind of like fought him off. Yeah, I, I tried to fight him off, you know, tire him out a little bit, but I was glad that he had made the move just because I didn't want to have to, you know, be the, the guy to go into the 400 meters. I want somebody to pick it up a little bit, and that's what he did. So I fought with him. He got in front of me. I got in his outside shoulder, and then we just raced it out from there, and uh, that worked out well. Yeah, there's working guys counting down on you too. How important was it to just hold them off, you know, get that championship and help the team too? Yeah, I mean, I knew... I knew that those guys have so much talent, and everybody got feel that a lot of talent, and everybody can kick. So it's more about positioning and being in the right spot when the, the kick does come. And so that was the whole game plan. And I, uh, I saw him on the big screen a couple of times. I saw I had a big pack behind me. Nobody really fallen off, so I knew it was going to be a race. It seems like you feel comfortable on the boards. You in high school and now here. Tell us a little bit about what you, what, how you feel about running on the boards. About the excuse me, running on the boards. The boards. Oh. Tell us about how you feel about it. You had success indoors in high school. Yeah, uh, I grew up in Connecticut, so it's pretty cold up there. We race a lot of times indoors, and uh, you know I love it. I mean, you don't have to worry about the weather conditions, even though it's a 200 meter track. You can still run pretty, pretty quick on it. And so I've had a lot of practice doing indoor races, and you know it never really phased me as something too different. It's just I think of it as something that's uh, to look forward to when you do it outdoors as you get faster. <laughs>